Good morning. So I'm here at Sam Rayburn. Uh, drove most of the night from Lake Amistad. Stopped at my buddy Josh's house north of Houston. Let me get some sleep. Thanks, Josh. Nikki. Uh, so now we're here at Rayburn. We're here at Humphrey's boat ramp. Water is high and there is no place to park because this is one of the only few ramps open. There's actually people parked way out there on the highway. So this is crazy. I've never seen this leg up like this. Here I am way back off the ramp. And I don't know if you can see, but there's water way over here. I mean, bass could be up in here, which is hundreds of yards away from where I've ever seen water before. So I don't know what this lake is gonna do like this. New conditions, this lake always shells out fish. Um, so finding them is gonna be important. With the water up as big as it is now, the lake's like 30% bigger than it is at normal level or something like that. Um, so there's so much more water to fish. We go from like 110,000 acres to 140,000 acres of water. So anyway, we're gonna get out there. It's 9.30, we're getting a late start, but hey, we're a little tired and we cashed a check, so it's worth being tired. I'm gonna load up the old Ranger and the Mercury, and uh, we're gonna get out there and try to find some fish. We're going to try to take this momentum and roll with it. So I've got it here, I slowly idled out from the ramp, started pulling rods out of the box, putting them in the water, trying to check the water clarity. Actually here it seems pretty good. I've got, I don't know, two, three foot of visibility here. It's definitely stained, not normal color from what I'm used to experience when I've been here before. But definitely color the fish will still be able to feed in and bite in. My first inkling with the lake, seven, eight, nine, ten foot up. Anytime a lake comes up really fast and hard, um, there's really two things you got to rule out. Obviously, there's one that do the fish move up and get up in all the new stuff, or I like to target the old bank line in this lake. There'll be an old grass line. There'll be a grass line that was growing at the, old, at the normal elevation that was really shallow. Fish probably weren't in it. So now there's that really shallow grass that used to be a foot deep that's now seven, eight, nine, ten foot deep. So I'll check the old bank line and then maybe even further out, 15, 20 foot, which used to be five or ten, where the grass is probably getting a little bit more established. Check there first. Um, check shallow second. That don't work. Uh, just shut your eyes, pray, and throw whatever you want. See if you get a bit that way. One, two, three. first fish. Had to work hard for that one.
Got another one. tail on that, isn't that beautiful? That black tail. Selfie time. That's a good one right there. You don't want to eat a trap now. That's that one. Well, it's going to be the last cast of day one of practice here at Sam Rayburn. Got here late because we slept a little bit um, after Amistad. Um, took us a little while, but we found a couple schools of fish. Just found a third school of fish. It is like crazy big school, but they're running around like chickens with their heads cut off, eating everything in sight. And I was able to get one on a swim bait and had one on a... Uh, Fluke, weightless fluke. It was a good one to come off. I don't know how you stay on those fish. But uh, anyway, it's getting dark here, and FLW likes you off the water. Plenty of safe lights, so we're gonna get off the water, and we may start right back here in the morning. Try to see what all this school of fish does, because it seems like a pretty big school of fish. But all in all, pretty good. Talked to other people that didn't do very good. Um, but based on that activity there, they ought to be biting somewhere. <laughs>